let's talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars, who I've got to say emotionally are kind of my favorite to win the division. <laughs> what? <laughs> they have the lowest they... connection in the division. But just hear me out for a second. Like thinking about possibilities. Trevor Lawrence is better than he showed last year. Plus, Doug Peterson knows how to coach. Plus, the whole division is bad. Equals nine and eight division title. Uh, if this Jaguars team wins nine games, I'll build the statue of Doug Peterson myself. Jaguars with 7.7 7 mean wins. They make the playoffs in 32.5% of projections. 24th on offense, 23rd on defense. Easy schedule. Plus 450 to make the playoffs, by the way, Aaron. And I'm going to remind you, I, I would love the plus 450 to make the playoffs. I remind you, talking about the, the Colts and uh, turnovers per drive on defense, right? The Colts were near the top of the league. It regresses heavily. The Jacksonville Jaguars had the second lowest percentage of drives that ended with a takeaway of any team since 1993. <laughs> there is no way that happens again. This team last year was disgusting to watch even watching them back again it's just terrible oh i'm not so arguing I was looking up, <laughs> yeah i was looking up some stats from last year for trevor lawrence and he had a 74.4 percent on target percentage which is right there at matthew stafford catchable pass percentage is right there with stafford as well overall completion percentage 59 percent oh god what is happening here? <laughs> and then the Jaguars receivers were 18th in receptions on catchable passes and led the NFL in drops. That won't happen this upcoming year, mainly because one of the things that stood out about Jacksonville this offseason and just in who they hired, this is a very professional coaching staff. With Doug Peterson, with the staff they brought in, like Brinson Buckner, like Mike McCoy, you have a lot of experience not only in NFL locker rooms as a player, but as a coach. You can tell there's a vision offensively. And that's just the big, that's the most refreshing thing. The defense is going to require a little bit more projection, mainly because you're bringing in a whole bunch of new guys. You're going to be playing a lot of rookies. And it's going to be a first-year defense coordinator. Yeah. He's coming from Tampa Bay, Mike Caldwell. I think there's going to be a lot of five-man fronts, a lot of blitzes. It's going to be reliant on if Trevon Walker can be Trevon Walker early. It's really an emotional. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely honest. It's an emotional reaction, but it is basically if Urban Meyer is as bad as we all feel he was, and Doug Peterson is good, which I think we all agree he's an above average coach, and Lawrence is as talented as we all thought he was coming out of college, like this team should be a lot better than it was last year. Last year really was a nightmare. May I just share with you guys uh, that the Jacksonville Jaguars, their training facility is not ready for the start of training camp. So they will be doing training camp at the local Episcopal High School. That sounds like the like 83 Los Angeles Raiders when they moved to Los <laughs> Angeles and they had no training facility and they worked at some high school and they were like doing drills on the blacktop. Right, right. And, and it's just like on the one hand, and it's true. It's true what we're saying. Professionalism has returned and Doug Peterson brings that. And like all these veterans coming in are good quality veterans, not last gasp veterans like they had last year. On the other hand, they're going to spend a couple of weeks working out at the local high school. So they're still the Jaguars deep, deep down in their hearts and souls. And I, I definitely see the, the leap from comedy to mediocrity. And I also understand the concept that mediocrity can win the division potentially. It's just, uh, you know, I'm looking at Mike Vrabel and Frank Reich and the veterans they've assembled and the guys who've been there. And it's like, they're going to let this happen. <laughs> like there's a risk this team rises up on them and they don't like reach back somehow and find a way of getting, you know, their guys together. And a veteran like Matt Ryan doesn't say, I'm going to win this damn game against the Jaguars. We lost Aaron there. Another thing, Travis Etienne is coming back. This should, this should be fun. I think Travis Etienne is a very fun player. I understand the idea mm -hmm. behind what Travis Etienne can do. I think lining him up at receiver, putting him at running back, it's a very good use of his skill set mm -hmm. in terms of getting speed in the game. Mm -hmm. It's just, again, it's very hard for me to project a running back coming off a list Frank injury because a lot of running backs coming off of foot injuries or lower body injuries, they're not the same players as they used to be. So it will be interesting to see how explosive Travis Etienne looks coming off of that Liz Frank injury. But if he's anywhere close to what he was at Clemson, this is a lot of speed that they're adding to a roster that really, really needs it.
So what was the prop bet again you said about the Jaguars making the playoffs? Plus what? Jaguars to make the playoffs is at plus 450. I'll look up some others while we're here. I have some alternate season win totals. Over seven and a half wins for the Jaguars at plus 200. I think I like the playoffs at plus 450 better. Yeah, because if, if they get to eight. Because if they get to eight or nine, they're they're going to win the division the way if, if it goes the way we think it's going to go. Like what I can't imagine is a world where Jacksonville goes nine and eight, but doesn't win the division. That's because if they go nine and eight, it's going to be in part because they go, th- they win three out of four against the Titans and Colts and push those teams down. I'd say, I don't think you're going to get the 2021 Bengals out of this, but the fact is the 2021 Bengals by our numbers were an average team that snuck into the championship of a division that was having a really down year and then went on a run in the playoffs. The biggest difference between this and last year's Bengals is they don't have the receivers. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence is basically going to have to be or the pass rush God as a quarterback or the the pass rushes. Is Josh Allen really worse than Trey Hendrickson? Yeah. I'm going to say that's fine. I'm comfortable with that. Yes. No, I think Josh Allen is pretty good. Josh Allen is pretty good. Trey Henderson was a really good addition to that team last year. Played extremely well. How about safety? How I about think yesterday the best safeties in the I league. Think Josh Allen. Okay, safety is a big I, difference. Yes, absolutely. I, I think Josh Allen is more talented, but I think Trey Henderson has better results. That makes sense. Like he, he's a better player. I think Josh Allen has the talent to get there, but he sees so many doubles because the rest of the pass rush is really, really bad. That you just so a lot depends on Trevon. It depends a lot on Trevor Walker. Depends a lot on Devin Lloyd being the chess piece that he was at Utah. And this team really also depends on Andre Sisco being good. I think Andre Sisco is good and can be good, but you just never saw him play because Urban Meyer forgot who he was. And it's just <laughs> playing Andrew Wingard, who makes me want to jump off a cliff. Andrew Wingard is not a good safety, not a good football player. I wish Andre Sisco would get more snaps. But I think this cornerback room is really versatile. I really like the addition of Darius Williams. It allows them to be a lot more versatile in their matchups, with a lot more receivers going into the slot now with like Cooper Cup, AJ Brown, a lot of bigger bodies in there. You're not going to put 5'10 Darius Williams in the slot exclusively. You're going to let him play the matchups. Put Tyson Campbell there, be a bigger body. Put Shaquille Griffin there and allow Darius Williams to kind of be your chess piece to match up against teams better. So I really like the pieces. I just have to see it in like in action. 